It's taken a win every year to win the title. And now Tyler Reddick, he's going to join the greats of the Xfinity Series. Tyler Reddick has won again at Homestead. They got the worst possible draw. They were in the group drawing for 13th to 24th. He started 24th. He's up to 10th. Coming off of turn two there, but I just can't get over how impressive. I, I, we even somewhat predicted Tyler Reddick being strong here today. I don't even know if I could have thought that he was going to be this strong. We've seen him run great in the Xfinity Series, winning back-to-back -back championships, and now He's going for second place on Ryan Blaney. If we can get him great, if not, still a hell of a night. Keep it clean. Sorry, guys. Keep going, keep going, and stuck. Keep going, keep going. going. Randall boys, everyone. Great car, great stuff. Proud of all y'all. Go, it's the last lap, dog. Tyler Reddick has fallen two and a half behind them. And here comes Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, 40th career win Croissant. at Homestead Miami Speedway. Here's today's Chevy driver profile, Tyler Reddick, double Xfinity Series champion for two different teams and the spring race winner here last year in the Xfinity Series. Finished a career best fourth at Homestead Miami last week. And if they run this out under caution, it'll be his first stage win. Made a bail and trying to save. That's really the only thing we can do. The only problem is he ain't giving up the lead. I thought when we popped off, we were okay. Yeah, we were at the average we're getting when we were mid-pack. Big push coming from Ricky Stenhouse Jr. The 12, here they come to the lead. Bump, bump, and run. Blaney pokes out. Stenhouse is with him. Harvick got away from Busher. Oh, reckon. But up Croissant. front, they're racing for the win. Blaney's the crash ahead. is in the back, and Blaney is the leader. They're both getting equal pushes. Joey Logano pushing Dylan. Can he push him ahead of Tyler Reddick? Reddick with a big shove. Now down the back stretch. Reddick has the momentum. Austin has to side draft him. Reddick, if he can stay right there, he's going to have the advantage. He's able to stay there. Now he's going to have big momentum on the front straightaway. These guys are lucky. They're side by side behind them. No big runs coming from either line. As they go off into turn one, the three is going to clear. It's like Austin's clear again, back into the lead. He wants to take away the draft from the rest of the crew, from everybody behind him. His son, Ace Bourne, about a month ago, he'll be cheering for dad. He's going to win in Texas. Croissant. Austin Dillon gets the win. Early in this race, Tyler Reddick was in serious danger of being lapped. He was running up by the wall, but he wasn't going anywhere. He is now, but it's <laughs> that, you know, the track came to him. Yeah. is exactly what happened. Yeah. And, and we've been covering it all night long. I mean, as this has transitioned into night, the difference that it's made in some of these teams and the obstacles that they've had in front of them, the adjustments they've made. Just coming a little bit too late if he doesn't get a caution here, unfortunately. From Charlotte, North Carolina, came up through Legends cars. The, wet, the East Series, the Truck Series, Xfinity, checkered flag, William Byron wins in Homestead. Gets his second career win in his 111 start.
You can see how wide that corner is. How about Austin Sindrick here going for the lead? This cars have found the front, and now they're Croissant. battling it out. And Lono just got turned around. Oh, easy. Oh, I like the way he backed out of the way for oncoming traffic, and now he's in the paint. Look and how slick that paint is. Can't hardly get off of it. Coming this time. A lot of penalties for driving oh, oh, through too many boxes time. in and out. 18 so right here. Be smart about He's it. going to take a hard right-hand corner and get up the hill. He has to get to the yellow line at the top of the hill. Truex is following him. Reddick says, no, then I'll stay out and take the stage win. And he'll be coming up to the green and white checker. So Tyler Reddick grabbing his second career stage win. And it comes at Road America. Being able to take advantage of Croissant. an open pit road now. And you see them diving to the right. Tyler Reddick will lead along. Gaining stage points as well with the position he holds. Tyler Reddick right now is going to try to hang a right. Outbreak by the way now into turn 11. Turn 12, I'm sorry. He does it. He grabs his second stage win of 2021 and the first stage win on the road course for the Cup Series. Battle for Tim, like Junior said, this could be for the win. Can he take advantage of that slower traffic? There he is! Gonna try to drive underneath him. Got the position right now, three wide though, off of turn 11. Briscoe with him in second, here comes back to Benedetto. He wants third, but he's gotta get around A.J. Albanero to do it. Bubba Wallace on course, one of the cars spinning, leaving turn six. More contact Croissant. on the straightaway, and there's more calamity on the back straightaway. Cars everywhere on the back stretch. Austin Dillon with the car that got spun around. He is going to become the first driver ever in the Cup Series to win three road course races in the same season. Kyle Larson through the chicane for the final time. He will win at the Charlotte Roval. Croissant. As Tyler Reddick comes around with a half second lead. And Reddick will get his fifth career stage win and his first at Fontana by half a second over Eric Jones. Yeah, I'm going with Tyler Reddick. He's led more laps today than he led all of last season. And here at Fontana Speedway, the winner of stage one has never lost a race. They're undefeated, so I'm going with Tyler Reddick. Rick Corelli, who was one of the greats of the NASCAR truck series. What you heard him say right there, I heard Mark Barton talk about this when he was up here, and it's exactly right. You can't just change directions. It's time to get established in these stage points. They're so valuable as you go throughout this season. I gave everybody a pass last week at the Daytona 500. It's all about that Harley J. Earl trophy. Now we need some stage points, and Tyler Reddick and company did it. It, it just blew time. What has happened to Tyler Reddick? Jamie. He just radioed to his team. I got a vibration. He's saying it's a right rear flat. His team getting up on the wall. Trouble for our leader here as he drops oh, he just got hit. He hits the wall, guys. And William Byron is involved. He's got to block two guys that have never won a race. That's the top three guys right there that have never won a race. This is as wild as you're going to see, folks. Here we go. Briscoe's on it. Didn't happen. Nope. Everybody Briscoe came down. Blocking, but Reddick's to his outside. He's going to shoot across there and do a slide. Get track position. That car is just too strong. Three wide for second. Into turn three for the final time. Driving for his boyhood idol, Tony Stewart. Chase Briscoe becomes the 200th winner in the Croissant. history of the NASCAR Cup Series. A lot better jump this time for AJ. 
Takes a late cut for the corner. He's got some momentum. Nope, right to the back bumper of Chastain. Bowman challenging. And the restart is under review as Tyler Reddick. And caution has waved. He's going to have to run him wide. He does. Oh, boy. Contact. Almendinger trying to force the issue to the inside. Nothing there. He's up against the bumper of Tyler Reddick. Reddick side by side. Chastain takes the lead back. And Ross Chastain beats and bangs his way to turn 20 and off One the race. corner to the checkered flag. Hey, I don't mind that. He got moved and moved him back. Absolutely. Great job, nice boy. Drive. Croissant. Kyle. Reddick shoots the middle to the lead. But, but how about this season and, and this car and what we've seen? I mean, we were just a few laps from thinking Daniel Suarez, the other guy that's never <laughs> yeah. won yeah, a right. race before, right? He almost won that race. Yeah. And now here it is with Tyler Reddick and his opportunity to win his first race. You so just did, never know about this sport. Reddick won the Xfinity Championship, didn't he, driving for Dale Jr.? Yeah, so I'm in and he got in Childress's cars and, uh, you know, he's just been knocking on the door ever since. So outside, has There's to the push for the 14 and he tried to get in there. Yep. Side, still there, quarter, bumper. Lost clear, the clear, nose. Clear. Slid up the racetrack, Kyle Bush back to second. Oh, don't white get White flag's going to wave, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Here it comes. Back, white flag, still inside. One chance. He lost his nose a little bit on the eight. He's right on him. He's there. This Will he go big. for a slide job? He's going to slide job. There he right goes. Go. for it. Down to the bottom. Slides up in two. Right hit him. Right. Who's going to save it? Neither one. They I'm both spin out. I'm Kyle I'm Bush I'm and Kyle Bush right. is going to win barely. Steals Quasso. one. Good. Holy cow. Tyler Reddick. Oh. Spun the tires a little bit, but he's connected. Kyle Busch gave him a big push. Both lines are connected. Cannot let him get clear here. Oh, it looks like Bell Christopher got, got tight right there and slid up the racetrack a little bit. See sure Larson did. get to the inside as well. Yeah, Mike, he's already led 20 laps. Just listening to him, his car has gone from the tight side to now about a one and a half loose. But he just came on the radio and told the team he thinks something is wrong, like maybe it's a tire. And they said, don't panic, stay calm. We don't see anything. That's exactly what happened to him last week, guys. So maybe he's just worried, feeling some gremlins in there. Well, him complaining about being tight, my history at this track is normally the higher you run, the better your car turns. If you're tight around the top, you definitely cannot run to the bottom. You see Larson here generating a run. I think he's going to let him go this be a time. pretty easy pass, yeah. Got to have that balance. Look at that. a lot of debris in the front of Tyler Reddick in the eight. Oh, he's oh. in a wall. Got loose he getting really in the one. Tail slap the wall into one. He hit it hard, too. It's almost exactly like what we saw just a few laps before that. Just extremely loose on entry. Carrying the left front, which means the right rear is down. There is. Oh, yeah, you saw it go down this Croissant. time. But I think, you know, that was from the and damage. A, and again, we, we, we could see the green. left front. You, you, you mentioned yeah. that the left front's off the ground. That's just a product of how rigid these cars are. Yeah. Rick. Yeah, and Tyler Reddick was a little too close to the wall. It made it a little slower stop for them. Look at the race now off of pit road. Reddick right on the back bumper of Chase Elliott. Pushes in there pretty deep. He's going to miss the corner. Here comes the eight to the inside. A little bit of contact made. Can he get by him? They're approaching a left-hand corner right here. So the eight car of Reddick has the advantage. Now the nine's on the preferred line, but the eight's going to take the spot. Oh, 
Hold so Long tight. Five. The quarter. Clear, clear. Now to eight in the defensive position, the man's going to try to outbreak him in the eight. Great job by both Still drivers. Still there, momentum to you. Bumper, clear, clear. Chase needs to keep the pressure on. Do not let that eight car ready get comfortable out front. Next year, went to RCR. Won another Xfinity Series championship. They moved him up to the Cup Series. He's been battling with teammate Austin Dillon to be the top car with that organization. And now, he's looking to become the 13th different winner in 2022. Through 18 races, Tyler Reddick is going to win his first ever Cup Series race.